Hello, everyone. Great to be live with you. While the U.S. military's F-35 fighter jet is known to be the most advanced fighter jet in the world, and right now one of them is missing, according to the news, after its pilot ejected out of the plane in a mishap, the plane was on autopilot, allegedly, and now it is just gone flying somewhere. Now, it may have crashed, and there's some key areas people are looking. Uh, how much of the story is true? Uh, we're going to dive into it. Here is how NBC is covering it. And right now, U.S. military officials are trying to track down a missing F-35 fighter jet. I mean, they're asking the public for their help. They say it disappeared somewhere over South Carolina yesterday after the pilot ejected from the plane because of a mishap. NBC News Pentagon correspondent Courtney Cuby is following this story for us. Courtney, this, I mean, sounds just so bizarre. This is one of the most advanced jets in the world. How does it sort of just disappear? Yeah, it doesn't just sound bizarre. Frankly, Morgan, it, it is bizarre. So you have something, this this aircraft, the F-35, it's known for its stealth capabilities. And basically what that means is an adversary has a difficult time knowing where it's flying or even if it's flying in their airspace at any given time. But that being said, there's also very sophisticated communications technique or equipment that is a part of this F-35. So it should be able to communicate back with wherever it's it's flying out of, wherever it, whether it's an aircraft tower or air control tower or the base that it flew out of. There should be a constant stream of communication. That's why this is so unusual. So as you said, a pilot was flying over South Carolina late yesterday when there was some sort of a mishap. The military is not telling us anything about that mis what that mishap may have been. The pilot was able to saf safely eject, uh, uh, eject from the aircraft, was taken to a hospital, but the aircraft, which may have been on some sort of an autopilot, kept flying. There's still no sign of it. It's important to point out, though, Morgan, it was flying near a couple of lakes, so that seems to be one of the theories here is that maybe it went down in a lake and that's why there wasn't any obvious sign of a crash here. And Courtney, just very quickly, can you put this into context for us? Has anything like this ever happened before? It has happened with civilian aircraft, but why this is, again, so unusual, there have been F-35 crashes, by the way, in the past. In fact, there was one out of the same area a few years ago. But it's very uncommon for this kind of advanced aircraft for something like this to happen, Morgan. All right. I mean, it's News Pentagon correspondent Courtney QB. Courtney, thank you as always. All right, so nothing like this has really happened with an F-35 fighter jet, the most advanced jet in the world, a jet that has communication with its base. The pilot ejects and the, and the jet takes off on its own. Sounds to me like this jet has been remote controlled by a hacker. That's just the most, that's what makes sense to me. And uh, did, I don't know, did China hijack our jet, remote control it? take it away so they can study and recreate the technology we have. Who knows? That's my conspiracy theory. Uh, the latest news is that there, that officials have now ordered a two day stand down for all jets, which goes along with my conspiracy theory. They're scared. Whoever is going to hide it, it remote control all these jets, perhaps, I don't know, but, or maybe a stand down on their military jets will help them find the missing one. Uh, we're going to dive in further, but real quick, shout out to the sponsor of my coverage. The U.S. debt spike could ignite a long-term rally in gold. Since March of 2020, the U.S. added another $8 trillion in debt, and gold is up 50%. Now, with the Fed raising rates, the interest payment on our debt has surpassed $1 trillion annually. BRICS nations met last month, and oil-rich nations Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have joined Russia and China and India, 51% of Americans can't pay their credit card bills, which just surpassed $1 trillion for the first time in history. If this is build back better, <laughs> increasing spending and regulation is likely to continue through 2024. Buying gold and silver is a strategic play that several countries are doing today. Who's looking out for the little guy when the government doesn't? Isn't it time? to take a look at gold and silver. Call America's own precious metals company, the National Gold Group today. Mention my channel, Ivory Hecker, and you'll always get best in class service from America's conservative precious metals leader. National Gold Group has the IRA fee waiver program on qualifying rollovers. Call 888-617-5927. 
Get a free investor guide today. Link down below, phone number down below. National Gold Group is a Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer. Call 888-617-5927. That's 888-617-5927. Remember, there's always a risk of loss with any investment. Uh, past performance not indicative of future results. All right, ABC News reporting, as Marines continue to search for F-35 after mishap, officials order a two-day stand down for all jets. The Marine Corps uh, commandant said he has full confidence in the aviation units. He's got to say that because this is embarrassing. At first I was like, is this just a distraction story? And I'm like, no, I think this really is happening, which is really scary for our national security. Uh, remote controlled by a, uh, by a hacker. I'm looking at the comment section. That's right, Paul. That is my theory. We will see what happened. One of you guys is blaming Putin. I would lean towards China. China has, uh, they're really good uh, with IT and hacking. And uh, Putin, he, I don't really think of IT people when I think of Russia. Anyway, anyway, so uh, ABC News is reporting the Marine Corps Acting Commandant Eric Smith on Monday issued a two-day stand-down to take place at some point this week for all aviation units, both inside and outside the United States, a Marine Corps spokesman told ABC News. The move was made in the wake of a, quote, mishap with an F-35 fighter jet in South Carolina on Sunday. That craft has not yet been located, though military continues to search. Guys, this thing went missing yesterday. A jet has been missing for an entire day. The most high-tech military jet on the planet This and, and it's known for its stealth capabilities, but now the stealth capabilities are being used against the U.S. because it's missing under U.S. watch, which clearly means someone else hijacked it, probably remotely, or or were they stowed away in the back? <laughs> I don't know. So that it says that craft has not yet been located, though the military continues to search. A Marine Corps spokesperson said in a statement on Sunday that the F-35's pilots, quote, safely ejected from the aircraft. We are currently still gathering more information and assessing the situation. The mishap will be under investigation. No units are allowed to fly until they have a two day discussion about safety measures and procedures, the commandant said in a service wide email on Monday. Wow. Well, the Marine Corps commandant said he has full confidence in the aviation units. He said he felt this was the right and prudent thing to do, given both this incident and another recent incident in Australia. Oh, yikes. I didn't realize it happened in Australia, too. The Epic Times is reporting on other incidents. The military, it says, considers F-35s to be perhaps the most advanced fighter, fighter jets due to their stealth capabilities. Uh, capacities. More than 1,000 of these jets have been produced by Lockheed Martin over the years, costing tens of billions of dollars, and the firm has described it as the most advanced fighter jet in the world. According to the Air and Space Forces magazine, each F-35 unit costs about $75 million on average. $75 million just went missing, guys. The U.S. Government Accountability Office, GAO, said in a 2021 report that the F-35 program was the Department of Defense's, quote, most expensive weapon system program to date. The estimated cost of the program is about $1.7 trillion for the aircraft and all its systems. Quote, this program is way, weighing options to upgrade its engine and cooling system, but it hasn't taken some important steps, such as fully assessing the costs and technical risks of the different options. DOD also doesn't plan to manage the upgrades as a separate acquisition program. This would limit Congress's insight into possible future cost increases, the GAO said. The F-35 program is about 10 years behind schedule and some $183 billion over the original estimates of its costs, GAO, GAO said, before it provided recommendations about how to handle costs. In 2018, an F-35B crashed near Little Barnwell Island in Beaufort, South Carolina, Beaufort County, if I'm saying that right. 
while the pilot was able to eject from the crash, uh, the aircraft. The GAO found that the cause of the crash was due to a manufacturing defect with the engine fuel tube. That was the first time the F-35 crashed in nearly two decades of the program's history. Two years later, a Marine F-35B crashed near the Naval Air Facility in El Centro, California, after it collided with a K-130 plane during an air-to-air refueling operation, according to officials at the time, the pilot of that plane also ejected safely. So pilots have had to get out of this, this exact kind of plane to eject in order to survive. So maybe this was a case where the pilot ejected as the plane was going down. But if the plane had crashed after the pilot ejected, don't you think that people would have found a, a, a big jet like that? Someone would have seen it crash quite quickly. Yet 24 hours or more later, uh, we're, we can't find it. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, the J- Joint Air Force Base is actually posting on Facebook and Twitter updates to to its audience. You can see the latest updates. Uh, I've linked uh, the Joint Air Force Base Facebook down in my description if you want to follow its Facebook updates this week. But today, just two hours ago, it wrote, Joint Base Charleston is cooperating with Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort. The second Marine aircraft wing is out of MCAS Cherry Point, Navy Region Southeast. Uh, They're cooperating with all these. Navy Region Southeast, the FAA, the Civil Air Patrol, as well as local county and state law enforcement across South Carolina. So the fact that all those federal and local and state agencies are all on the ground and in the air right now looking for that thing and it's still nowhere to be found, that makes me feel like it probably didn't crash and it may have been hijacked, but who knows? It says, quote, teams continue to search for the U.S. Marine Corps F-35B Lightning II using both ground and air assets. We appreciate the support we've received from our mission partners and every organization involved as are searching and preparing for the recovery of the jet. For further information, please contact the second Marine aircraft wing and they list the Phone number and email there. Their previous post they made yesterday, they were asking people if they have any information that would assist, please call us. Literally asking the public to help look for a missing fighter jet is just bizarre and unprecedented. And the South Carolina congressional representative is calling this out on Twitter. Uh, Nancy Mace, Congresswoman Nancy Mace said, how the hell do you lose an F-35? How is there not a tracking device? And we're asking the public to what? Find a jet and turn it in? (laughs) It is just so bizarre. Let me, let me bring her tweet up for you. Um, And people are responding to this. Uh, people are asking if UAP, aka UFOs, are associated. Is this mishap associated with UFOs? Uh, Nancy Mace was one of one of the con- congressional members who questioned uh, the whistleblowers about recovering bodies of of aliens. So people are asking her about aliens in the comment section. And secondly, if NORAD and our spy satellites can't track a fighter jet in our own airspace that crashes. We have a much bigger problem than $166 million down the drain. Exactly. NORAD? If NORAD didn't waste so time, tra- so much time tracking fake Santa, we might be able to actually track our own fighter jet. You know, the most controversial post I ever put on Instagram was uh, just saying we need to stop lying to our children about Santa. Like literally, why are we teaching our kids a lie early on and then and then uh, expecting them to not get scammed in the future? I don't know. I was just, I'm against lying to your kids about Santa uh, because I, uh, it goes back to when I had to cover NORAD on the news and I refused to, uh, 
I refused to read a script for Fox that said that Nora was NORAD was tracking Santa because it's a fake story. Anyway, NORAD puts all of this effort into Santa. And now when there's a, an F-35, they can't find it. Uh, Nancy Mace said that the pilot safely ejected, grateful to our men and women in uniform who risk their lives on a daily basis. She said, now that I got that out of the way, how the hell do you lose an F-35? Um, she says, we knew the F-35 was stealth, but this is ridiculous. Uh, then she announced today that she was meeting with the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, then she updates us on Twitter. Uh, one of the shortest meetings I've ever had here. I'll, I'll bring up her other tweets so you can see what our congresswoman is doing, trying to get to the bottom of this missing jet. Uh, she says right here, one of the shortest meetings I've ever had, because guess what? No one at the U.S. Marine Corps sent over to brief me and my staff had any answers. Shocker. The Marine Corps had no answers for our member of Congress. She said, no one knows if the F-35 is in the air or under the water. And here she is uh, asking about aliens. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Anyway, so let me show you guys where people are thinking that this jet crashed. Uh, let me show you on a map what is going on. So apparently the news is reporting Beaufort, South Carolina, just south of Charleston here is where the jet originated out of the Marine Corps Air Station, Beaufort. And then uh, apparently it flew north past Charleston and was headed towards these two lakes you see here when it went missing. So the news is saying the, the the plane could be underwater in one of these big lakes, and that is why uh, nobody's seeing it. And anyway, so these other bases up here are helping. Uh, so there's the Marine Corps Air Station Cherry. Um, what is this? Cherry Point. So this is actually a station that the president and first lady fly in and out of. Uh, that station is helping with the search for the jet. And let me zoom in these two lakes, Lake Marion and Lake Moultrie, just northwest of Charleston, South Carolina, is where the news is reporting this missing jet could be located. Which, by the way, if you guys haven't been to Charleston, it is America's hidden gem. It's such a lovely little vacation getaway. Uh, the Associated Press, I know people are going to be like, people get mad at me when I switch topics. Anyway, Associated Press is reporting, quote, military searches near South Carolina lakes for fighter jet whose pilot safely ejected. Authorities searched near two South Carolina lakes, South Carolina lakes on Monday for a military jet that apparently crashed after the pilot safely ejected over the weekend. The pilot, whose name hasn't been released, parachuted to safety into a North Charleston neighborhood. Wow. Around 2 p.m. Sunday. Can you imagine a fighter jet pilot landing in your backyard? North Charleston neighborhood. Um, he was taken to the hospital where he is in stable condition, uh, Marines Major Melanie Salinas said Sunday. Uh, Corporal Christian Cortez, a Marine with the second Marine aircraft wing said there was a mishap involving the F-35B lightning two jet and that the search was ongoing Monday. Exactly what happened was under investigation. He said, based on the missing planes location and trajectory, the search was focused on Lake Moultrie and Lake Marion as uh, said Senior Master Sergeant Heather Stanton at Joint Base Charleston, both lakes are north of North Charleston. Now, if the lo local news is doing their job, then they're sending their reporters to these towns on the edges of the lakes to see, did anyone see a, a jet go underwater here? Uh, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of towns on the perimeter. Uh, perimeter of the lake so there should be 
plenty of eyewitnesses. That's why I'm thinking that this was not, you know, that the plane did not go underwater. Here, here you can see all the little, all the little towns. Now there's hiking and wilderness as well along the lake, but there's a lot of little towns and highways right along the lake. So there should be a lot, a lot of eyewitnesses as you can see. So this is definitely a strange, um, strange situation. Just gonna strange story every check in your comments section. Um, <laughs> barely crashed F 35 for sale. Yeah. Finders keepers, right? If I find this thing. Oh, and she, uh, the Congresswoman, uh, she said, did she take down her tweet where she mentions this Netflix documentary? Mm -hmm. Oh no. She said, um, if we don't get some answers, might ask Pepsi and Netflix next. Hashtag where's my jet. Have you guys seen the Pepsi doc documentary on Netflix? Pe uh, Pepsi, where's my jet? It's actually a really interesting documentary from, I think, the 90s where Pepsi said that if you had a certain number of coupons or something from your Pepsi cans, then you can, then they'll award you with a jet. And once a kid had enough of those coupons, he turned them in and Pepsi said they were joking. So he filed a lawsuit and it was this years long ordeal to get a fighter jet. Pepsi had literally offered a military fighter jet to people who, who drank enough Pepsi. And so that's kind of was the origin of the fine print. I mean, they should have done fine print better, but they had no fine print in their offer to give you a jet. So the guy's like, you owe me a jet. Anyway, Pepsi sadly won out anyways, but it's a really interesting documentary. And it's another another where's my jet situation uh, in real life now. So I was like, is this a distraction from something else that uh, that's popping off on the news today? I don't know. There's endless news these days, but let me just shout out Russell Brand. Russell Brand, man, he's he's got four people accusing him of sexual sexual assault. Now, not surprising at all because he has been he's been just dropping pr truth bombs like none other, and he attracts a diverse audience. He's red pilling people left and right, and he's shining light on the things that the corporate news won't. His podcast has grown like crazy, and so now Russell Brand has a list of sexual assault, assault accusers coming after him. He used to be married to Katy Perry. And I just remember before he married her, I remember seeing somewhere that he said that he used to get with girls by pretending to be gay. He would literally just pretend to be gay. And then the girls would undress in front of him, you know, change clothes in front of him because, oh, he's my gay friend. And then he'd venture it eventually make his move on them or something. <laughs> so I don't know, but I just think it's too strange that like all these guys who, you know, rise to a certain level of fame and especially if they're controversial or they're shining light on something people don't like, they get landed with a sexual assault allegation. So it just makes me wonder if wonder if this is legit or not. Um, Epic Times is also today exposing the government's plan, uh, secret plan to grab 30% of America's land. Basically, the government plans to pass some uh, regulation that says that certain swaths of America are now protected wildlife, protected waters, protected land you know, and uh, apparently it's a whopping 30% of that land that the, that the government wants to change. So the, uh, you know, change to where you can't, it can no longer be owned by the, by members of the public. So that's concerning. Epic Times uh, does such a great job with their coverage, filling in the blanks where the corporate news won't. You can get a 
subscription to Epic Times, go to iReadEpic.com, put in code Ivory, and you'll get a big discount, big discount on your subscription to Epic Times. iReadEpoch.com, code Ivory. Start getting the blanks. It, go to Epic to get your blanks filled in where the media will not. The rest of the media, the only cover a rigid narrative. Epic Times covers it all, fills in the blanks. Anyway, I got to run. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow.